Good morning, Eagles. I'm Gabriella. And I'm Abby. And, and you're, you're watching, watching TCNN. TCNN. coming to a close, that means finals are right around the corner. Studying varies from student to student. Here's Miles with some tips and advice for studying. With only a couple weeks left to school, finals are right around the corner. Here's some advice from teachers on how to study and how to best succeed. Uh, to st start studying early, I think is the number one. There's nothing worse than students feeling panicked and cramming because it's hard to remember things when you're trying to study and cram. Short segments of studying and then taking a break. Uh, 20 minutes of intense study notes and then put the book away and then, you know, go eat maybe a bowl of cereal or favorite snack or play with your dog or, you know, do uh, go run a lap or something. My number one advice is to go somewhere super loud with lots of people around and to study there. These tips are very helpful and they're only going to work if you apply them. Thank you. Back to you guys. Thanks, Miles, for that story. Make sure to study hard and try not to cram for your finals. On another note, the elementary students enjoyed the book fair in the library last week. And one of our very own teachers, the one and only Mrs. Castro, ran the program. Here's a deeper look into that story. Every year, Tri-City puts on a book fair in order to broaden the horizons and vocabulary of its students. So, book fair is a program that we that is provided to us by Scholastic. They are known worldwide for doing book fairs, and they basically provide all the books uh, for kids to buy. The one we just did was a BOGO book fair. The kids loved it. We, um, we wanted to put um, books in the hands of students before they went off on summer break. I remember only going to get toys or books with toys. Was that a problem and a waste of my parents' money? Absolutely. <laughs> it's great to see the elementary students enjoying something that I used to enjoy when I was a kid, too. It's great to see the students expanding their knowledge through reading books. Here is Jason with your weekly announcements to fill you in on what's happening. Good morning, Tri-City. This week is Teacher Appreciation Week and AP testing, so make sure to pray for our students. Um, make sure to place your orders online for this week's barbecue lunch on Thursday. And um, on Wednesday, our baseball team has a game versus Foothills Christian at Barona. And ASB candidates should see Mrs. Castro during fifth period today in the broadcast studio to record their speeches. If you cannot make it during fifth period, see Ms. Castro during lunch today. Back, oh, <laughs> that's all we have for this week. Back to you guys. Thanks, Jason, for the weekly reminder on our upcoming events. As you all may know, last weekend was prom. And if you were an underclassman and missed it, here's a recap on that night. This past weekend, juniors and seniors attended the long-awaited 2019 prom. Let's see how that went. I'm excited for you are for prom this week. I'm really excited for prom, yeah, it sounds fun. I might not go until like later though, because I might go to Brett. <laughs> yeah. I'm so excited. Very excited. Whoa. I love boats. My broadcast is Oh, there we go. Oh, God. It's really fun. I like that we're on a boat because it's a really nice view and the food's really, really good, so that's fun. How was your dinner? Uh, really good. The pasta was great. I give it a 10 out of 10. <laughs> It's really fun. Um, how did you like your food? Oh, it was really good, actually. So I was surprised. I had the pasta and it was creamy. You got some photos from the photo booth? Yeah. <laughs> Looks like it was one of the best proms we've ever had. Back to you guys. Looks like prom was a magical night, especially for the seniors who celebrated their last school dance. This past Wednesday was the tradition of senior servants. Here's Andrew with Noah Reitmeyer. 
So this past Wednesday was Senior Servant Day, and I know you got bought. Uh, how was that, and what was the most embarrassing part about it? Uh, it was good. The most embarrassing part was definitely when I had to put on the dress, and a lot of the classes were just kind of looking at me and taking pictures of me and stuff. How did it feel to have all that attention on you? Uh, I don't know. It just It's not every day where a guy wears a dress, so I just kind of soaked it all in and just kind of took it how it was. Thanks, Noah. Back to you guys. Thanks, Andrew. That's all we have for you this week. We'll see you next week on, on TCNN. TCNN.